these guys do toot their own horn. You know what? Let me tell you, lame brain, fuzzy headed, deadbeat, shithead, stupid, some bitches, something. The camera fell over. For last four years, I have sat on my lips as a Tennessee Volunteers fan. Now, I've been a passionate Tennessee fan all my life, and it has pained me deeply to watch my beloved Vols go through the bullshit they went through. And I know it's no different for any other diehard passionate Tennessee fan. Age doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're one or one fucking hundred. These last few years have sucked. So we get a little glimmer of hope last year by making it to a bowl game for the first time in eons. And we smoked the shit out of the Big Ten Iowa Hawkeyes. So now everybody's showing the Vols a little love. And a lot of you cocksucker... A lot of you penis procurers don't like it. And I have been the leader of Tennessee fans to say slow your roll Vol fans let's not get overly excited just yet yes we beat the shit out of Iowa in a bowl game last year yes Joshua Dobbs looked fantastic and yes, we finally have a roster now that looks like an SEC roster. Not like a freaking high school roster, which is what we had when Derek Dooley was here. No offense to any of the kids that played under Derek Dooley. No offense to any of them that might still be left on this team now. The sucking is over. At Tennessee it's over I've sat by kept my mouth shut long enough what I want you people to know I'm talking about fans of these other scrub ass teams like Georgia Florida Alabama Georgia Florida Alabama all the other SEC teams at Ohio State consider yourself lucky that you some bitches don't play us this year I'm telling you right now this is the year that Tennessee puts its foot squarely up everyone's ass. <laughs> this is the year that we get back on the map of the college elite, and this is the year that it all turns around. And starts heading back to where it should have always been the top I'm on my way right now to watch the Tennessee open practice something that Butch Jones has started since he got here for the young kids for the young individuals who are participating for the first time in their growth and maturation process. But today is the day that it gets kick-started. Bowling Green, three weeks from today, your ass is grass. And the big orange lawnmower is coming to mow you. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself right now, but I haven't forgotten about you freaking Sooners either. You guys were lucky to beat us last year, and I don't give a damn what Oni Kuno says. I'm sick to damn death of Tennessee being the team that no one talks about in the SEC. Used to? 
we were always the first team mentioned when the college football so-called professionals started talking about SEC football and college football in general. But that's over. Reality is back. I've completed psycho evaluation and my therapist has indeed told me that I am not fucked up in the head. That I am perfectly within my rights as a human and I am perfectly sane to think that Tennessee is going to win the whole damn thing this year. Once we kick the shit out of Bowling Green in Nashville in three weeks, people will say, eh, it's Bowling Green, which that's fine. Then when we come home and stomp a freaking Sooner mud hole in Oklahoma and Bob Stoops' ass, people are going to say, well, Oklahoma's down this year. Blah, blah, blah. Then when we bring our freshmen out and mop the floor with Western Carolina the week after that to go to 3-0, and people will be like, eh, hey, you know, it's Western Carolina. Big deal, the balls are 3-0. and So what? But what are they going to say when we have kicked George's ass? What are they going to say when we have stomped Florida? Well, I know what they're going to say there. It's about damn time. And they would be right. What are they going to say when we beat Arkansas by three touchdowns in Knoxville? What will these people be saying when at the end of the regular season, the Tennessee Volunteers are 12-0? Here's our 12-0! 12-0! That's right, we're going 12-0, baby! What are they going to say then? They're going to say, BBD tried to tell you dumbasses. You remember that day when BBD and his fat, toothless ass was driving down the road on the interstate heading to the open practice when he said, what are they going to say when Tennessee goes 12-0? and What are they going to say? What are they going to say? Guess we'll find out, won't we? Go Vols! Screw y'alls! Let's go watch some foosball. Dark, 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 dark.